Good morning, everybody. Have we got something special for you today? We are out here at Horseshoe Bay Resort in Texas at the Bilstein <laughs> VIP Off Rodeo Experience. We're going to be bringing you a bunch of coverage from that event, things that you guys can expect if you're thinking about coming to the event and we're just gonna be having a lot of fun horsing around with these new Broncos. This is it guys, after years of anticipating these new Broncos, I finally get to hop behind the wheel of one and drive one. Big shout out to Bill Steen for this opportunity. We're super stoked. There's a ton of other awesome people out here that we're gonna be filming with. So we're excited. We're gonna wait for everybody, hop in these Bronco off rodeo buses and go have a blast. So stick around, this is gonna be a sick video. We're gonna go learn how to off-road, which should be pretty sweet. <laughs> Definitely gonna learn something new here. So this this program, uh, off rodeo as a whole, is really designed to take the average Bronco owner that has never even put a foot in the sand and take them from zero to hero in a day, day and a half. This is really the ABCs of off-roading where we just explain approach, break over and departure angles, um, and then how that powertrain is flowing through a vehicle, and then some of the key features that really separate Bronco from the rest of the pack. Cool? Yep. 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 All right. So we're gonna go through our OIX course and demonstrate some of the uh, some driving techniques and driving technologies that the Bronco has. Just a lot of lot, lot of great stuff, man. Yeah. A lot of great stuff. Sweet. I didn't sign up for this. At this point, guys, we're actually about no, no, to no, get no, behind no. the wheel of one of these things and uh, go off rodeo in these things. So, see if we could tame them, it's gonna be rad. Are you excited or nervous? I'm a little bit of both. <laughs> What's up? We're excited, we're ready. Let's get this day going. This will be a lot of fun. Just seeing if we can't get it stuck. We had a Jeep Wrangler, so it'd be fun to see how this compares. I think just driving it off road. A um, lot of videos I've seen, you know, hype this thing up, but I want to experience it firsthand and really test the, you know, super new, you know, features off-road and just test them all out. This is it. I still don't know if it's automatic or manual. We're about to find out. This is the steep, the beast. This is, oh, shoot, man. I am so stoked. Shoot, man, I don't even, I don't even know what to press right here. We're four low. Anti-matter blue is ready to rock. Seat belt. Red five standing by. There's way too many buttons. <laughs> Honestly, I, I feel like I don't know what I'm doing. It's so much different from an early Bronco. I mean, you have cruise control. <laughs> An air conditioner, that's the craziest thing. I'm just enjoying the air conditioning. I've been driving in a Bronco for 20 years with no air conditioning, so. It's like, it's culture shock, that's what it is. It's culture shock. Let's see if we could get out of this trail without blowing the transmission, huh? We 
are officially off-road in a new Bronco. That's where we are. Here we have the great outdoors, where you can drive a Bronco. What Bronco? Not yours, because you won't get one for a long time. If you wanted to, you could be like Mitch, but you, know, you don't want to break that many transmissions, so. First off, I would just like to say that I was just talking for like five minutes, and then we found out that the microphone wasn't on. So, things that this thing definitely beats a 1976 Ford Bronco is those creature comforts. We talked about it in the Sport versus Pitbull video. You don't have to get out to engage your lockers. You don't have to get out to, you know, do your locking hubs. It's like, everything is so easy. And your four wheel, my four wheel drive on my Bronco always pops out of gear, but here it's just smooth sailing. I cannot stress enough how amazing that is for any of you guys that don't drive an early Bronco without air conditioning, you have no idea what I'm talking about, like on why I would trip out about air conditioning. Front and rear locking differential, sway bar disconnect. You got everything you need right here. Let's talk to John. John, what'd you think, man? Are you blown away? Dude, this is incredible. Like being able to just take it off road, drive it around. It's kind of like this no limit kind of thing. Just a speed limit. Just, I mean, <laughs> just a speed limit. How cool is it? I I love air conditioning in the, in the Bronco. Dude. All righty guys, so there you go. First drive in a Bronco and we didn't wreck it yet. <laughs> Woo, Evan. It's just crazy how much comes packed in these Broncos stock straight out of the factory. You've got the lockers and everything being so convenient and easy to turn on and off. I mean, it's just totally rad. We're gonna go pop into base camp. We're gonna eat some lunch and then I think we're gonna go rip around again and I think we're gonna pick up a little more speed this time, so. Alrighty guys, lunch is over. Uh, it was very good in case you were wondering. Uh, now it is time to get another three hours on the trail, so. I don't know what to expect out here. I'm not expecting a ton of tough stuff, but we'll see. I hope they surprise me, so. I'm scared to death. Spencer. Sweet. I'm an engineer at Bilstein. Um, I work to help develop the, the Bronco ESCV technology.
there we go. We did a couple hours of wheeling, got some pretty sick rocks in, a lot of rock ledges. Nothing crazy though that, that has put any amount of stress on the new Bronco. So we're gonna hop back in, do a little bit more crawling, and then we're gonna get to pick up some speed here in a bit, which I think that's what everybody's craving for right now is the need for speed. So let's hop in the rigs and uh, get that gas pedal working. It, boys and girls. Good luck, don't kill me. Everybody, this is Emma. Emma What's up, guys? Awesome. I work for Bill Stein. I'm a marketing specialist here at Bill Stein. It's a pretty <laughs> rad job. Um, just get to come out here and wheel in with all these guys, so it's a pretty sick weekend. Basically, she got the hookup for this whole thing, which is so rad. Uh, we're gonna go rip it again, though, because that was too much fun. How can you not? This track here was designed by Vaughn Gittin Jr. and Lauren Healy and a man by the name of Bob Burns. So this was to really drive home Bronco's true capability uh, at speed. Mike and I are going to be taking y'all on the hot lap. Here we go. Uh, zoom. 25 miles an hour. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. See, I probably would have broke it right there. <laughs> Yeah, you're the man. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> that was too rad. It was too rad. I think I'm gonna have a much harder time waiting two months to get my own Bronco at this point. That was totally wicked. Alrighty guys, so I don't even know where to begin. I can't say enough about the Bronco off-rodeo experience. Uh, I've said it a couple times now. If you guys have been thinking about buying a Bronco, or if you've bought a Bronco, you definitely need to come out to one of the Bronco off-rodeo events. Obviously, we're in Austin, Texas. It was super rad. Everybody here is amazing. The staff's incredible. Obviously, we got Mike and Amy out here. Again, we I cannot put into words the amount of fun that we had driving these things, ripping it through this huge property that they have out here. If you're a, a hardcore off-roader, if you have never gone off-road in your life, there were some people here that have never been off-road in their lives and they got to drive and they think it was amazing. I think it was amazing. So definitely something to uh, consider if you wanna come out. I wanna tell y'all thank you for coming. We appreciate y'all being here. For those of you not from Texas, well, welcome. We hope that y'all had a great time here at the Hill Country.
guys, so after a long day of horsing around, the day is finally coming to a close. We're about to go eat some dinner. I have so much gratitude right now, you know, not only for, again, you know, I've said their names a million times, but they're the ones that made this all possible for Bronco Nation, Bill Stein, the Bronco Off Rodeo team, and the people out here, and, and everybody that came out to, um, film and support all the influencers, all the content creators that came out. You know, being around them and the conversation we had, it was so rad to everybody we met this week. You guys are so awesome. Thank you so much for making this experience so great. You know, obviously we've got a sick vehicle, but at the end of the day, it's just a vehicle. It's the people that make anything like this cool. So huge shout out to Bill Stein. Hopefully me giving this much gratitude makes up for all of the times that I've said the name wrong. <laughs> it is not Bill Stein, it's Bill Stein. Remember that, folks. But anyways, as far as the vehicle does go, though, I mean, again, Bill Stein brought us out here. The suspension on this thing is crazy. I mean, a lot of you guys are knocking the IFS, but the way this thing handles off-road, whether it's rock climbing, going through the sand, going through the whoops, it's mind-blowing and it's crazy. And take that from me now, at this point, it's not just a ride along, it's not just watching videos, I have been behind the wheel. And I said it already, I am so excited to take ownership of mine at this point. Now, is it gonna replace the pit bull? That's a question you guys have all been asking. No, it is not, but that air conditioning is very convincing. Uh, at this point in the video, you know, we're wrapping it up. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Become one of the horsemen. Uh, we're not only doing this stuff, we're doing a ton of other cool stuff, ton of other cool videos, so you definitely want to stick around and check it out. If you liked this video, leave a comment. Let us know what you thought about the new Bronco and the video and all of us ripping around. Anyways, that is enough talking. I'm going to go chow down and eat. Uh, so with all of that being said, we will see you guys out there on the trail. Peace!